What's up? What's up? This is the first day in I think like over a week where I've been able to do a long form hunt. So we're gonna hit up a lot of stores today. So this is gonna be interesting because this is like a week after Holothon. So let's see if there's any remnants remaining. <sighs> Not looking for anything in particular. But if I find a Bronx, I'll be super happy. Let's go. Yeah, this Target usually has a pretty stocked selection. Generally, this is one of my favorite Targets. Um, but you never know. So we're about to find out. Check it out. Wrestling. Undertaker, Undertaker, Undertaker. Lots of Undertakers. Mattel does such a good job with these. They really do. Look at the accessories. This is like... Well, this is like $35. Wow, I've seen these cheaper. Oh, and the Batistas. I know people are looking for these. Definitely bears a likeness. Really well done. Look at that. Very well done. Triple H. Cool. Mando figure. What the heck? Holy smokes. Are you kidding? $43? I can't be right. Again, I'm looking for that big McFarlane refresh. I don't know when it's coming, but I know that there's a ton of figures that have definitely been teased for quite some time. So, yeah, it sucks. <gasps> what? Yo. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh. I might have to pull the trigger on that one. Of course, you got your two care Batman bundle. Yeah, I have to pull that clay face. All right, let's go check out the clearance. These are cool. These three three and quarters cantina kind of area. I like those. Wish they do more dioramas. Get out. They're finally in clearance. Finally. Age of Apocalypse like Cyclops. Wow, not a very popular character apparently. As you can see. Hmm, not bad at all. I don't think I want any of these characters, but... Alright, moving on. Alright, check it out. Let's see what we got today. Wolfman seems to be the flavor of the day. Whoa! They got all these turtle restocks. Holy smokes. Look at that, four of them. That's crazy. I guess. Wow, that is unexpected. Nice. I'm starting to collect the Universal Monsters. I have the Frankenstein, the colorless Frankenstein. <laughs> they really, I don't know, these are pretty good cloth figures, but Laurie Strode's face is like a little bit off. A little bit off. I don't know, the scale looks off. Good detail though, of course, the blood on the gown. Oh, Sonic figure, or plushies, I should say, Sonic plushies. I found that you really have to go through these plushies, because there's some really cool ones in here. Who is this? Oh, David Hasselhoff. Oh, wow, they're just barely up there. Marty McFly. Look at that. 
I'm not the biggest fan of Sonic, but that's pretty nice for a Sonic fan. For sure. Let's see. All these pops, Yu-Gi-Oh pops. No new refresh on the 66 Batman figures, just the same old. No Artha Kit still. Oh, okay. You know, I think we've kind of seen everything that we need to see here. There's really nothing else that's jumping out at me. Oh, wow. Be back on Rocksteady. Wow. Now that's just how you know the holothon's over. So it kind of makes me excited to see what else we can find. Oh look, ultimate peg warmers, still at $32 with no window box. Okay, let's move on to the next door. All right, Best Buy. This Best Buy is hit or miss, but I figured I'd check it out. Maybe they got some new stuff in. I haven't been here in probably a couple weeks, so maybe almost two weeks, if not more. So. Let's give it a go. Let's check it out. Very nice. Got her. Got you. Future Predator. Man, this is definitely a nice section. Yeah, the Crooked Man is kind of calling me. It really is. Pull the trigger. Other than that, the NECA section is pretty subpar. Nothing too crazy. Still with the Marvel Legends Eternals. These are now eight dollars at Target. Uh, seen this for I think eleven dollars on Target's website, as well as the eight dollars for the Cyclops. Got Etrigan back there, and then Shazam, I have both of these, all of these, I don't know, not to Shriek, eh, he's cool, he was $8 the other day, oh, this Cricket Man's pretty nice, uh, decisions, alright, GameStop time, let's see what we can see, maybe I can pick up that Mandarin spawn here, Let's see. Nice. Nothing too crazy. Is that the one you're looking for? Yeah, um, there was the uh, Clarence Deluxe Mandarin Spawn figure, but I think I don't think you have it unless it's in the back or something. Uh, Yes, sir. Shao Kahn. Check this out. See that over there? No. Uh, okay. Thank you. It says we have one. Oh, that's great. I'd definitely grab it. Alright, 36, about 36 bucks for Mandarin Deluxe Spawn. Not a bad haul. Alright, so this Target is... I think this is the first time that I've been to this Target. I, I, I don't even, I didn't even know it was here to be honest with you. So after this Target, we're going to go to the Premier Target, my favorite Target. And hopefully they have some restock. We got here. Riddler's Joker. Harley. Harley. And Harley. 
Coraline doll. Cool, I like those. They're not actually cloth. It does look, well, partially. The mask, or the, the mask. <laughs> the head is plastic, but it, they did a good job of mimicking, like, fabric. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder if I can get something off for that. Nice. Unpaint it. Nice. Oh, look. Everyone's favorite peg warmers. Uh, Nightwing. Which up Gundam model kits. This store has more Gundam model kits than I think I've ever seen any other store have. Oh, another Turtles 4 pack. These are definitely becoming more plentiful out. This is the fifth one I've seen today. Uh, let's see. There's tons of these. Um, not familiar. Napoleon and Attila. Oh, how fitting. Uh, we have. This is another one I've seen. I've seen about three of these today. First we have, oh! Nice, this is newer. Cool. And back here we have just a bunch of aliens. These don't seem to be very popular, but I think they're awesome. Uh, then we got, oh. up, Ultimate Sam, Amanda cool. I like this. Oh. Tony Terra Pinhead. Cool. Oh, I was looking for this. Oh, what the heck? Would you look at that? It pays to move things around. Wow. Damn. I'm not even the biggest fan of the Chainsaw Massacre, but this is an awesome figure. Leatherface well, is looking... Yeah, he's looking good. <laughs> Here's Sam with his different head sculpts. I do like this character. Well, I've got a good amount of the Toonie Terrors. Herbert West from Reanimator. <laughs> Haven't seen him. Got a Penhead, of course. These are all really cool. I do like these. And for all you Naruto people out there, Kakashi Sensei, these look really nice. I can't imagine they cost too much either. Couldn't be more than, maybe they are 20 bucks, I don't know. They're really basic, but they're very, their articulation is very good. Here, let me see if I can show you on the back. There's Goku. Almost like S, uh, SH Figo Arts quality, I would say. Almost. In terms of the articulation. Alright, so we're going to make our way to the toy aisle now. Again, I've never been here, so I don't know what to expect. Oh man, I haven't seen him in a while, and they've got Ellie Sadler. This thing is $11 on Target's website. I'm looking for Ian Malcolm. Yeah, Ian Malcolm is not there. I think people were kind of late to the boat on these. But now they're gone, and I missed out. Let's see what else we got. Get a handful of stuff, which is why I'm struggling over here. <laughs> More Star Wars. I think these have been out for a while. They're pretty plentiful at this point. Wrestling. Oh, Ray Mysterio, that's a nice one. They get they did such a good job on his tattoos. I mean look at that. The face looks kind of crazy, but the tattoos are crazy. Really good, really well done. And we have a clearance rack. Oh, 
What do we have here? Would you look at that? <laughs> That's why it pays to look around. Holy smokes, this is blade and torch. I've got blade and torch in route uh, ordered from GameStop the other day, so it should be here, but I think next week, I think. That little Michael Myers. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Yeah. Wow. This is wow. This this is a good target. I hit the jackpot. We have. Whoa. Let's put this down for a second. Let's see what we got. Anything buried? I think that might freak my girlfriend out. She would probably not like that too much if I got that one. I'd have to probably hide it or something. <laughs> Tons of thaw logs, of course. Bronx, probably not gonna happen. I'm just, it's just wishful thinking. All these are Rat King Vernons, as you can see. Oh. Wolfman, not so hard to come by now got the black Frankenstein which is nice and the colored one which again really nice I know I, sh I think I showed this before yeah I did <laughs> all right let's check out the other figures torch and blade they look excellent the scale while it is small it is definitely fitting for I mean they're puppets so it wouldn't make sense for them to come in a seven inch scale I cannot wait till this comes in. I just watched the, I haven't seen them in a while, so I watched, rewatched the first three movies. Um, they are a lot of fun. Um, not the best movies, of course, but the technical wizardry with the puppets um, and the overall story is actually pretty compelling when you get past some of the hokiness, but love these characters. We're supposed to get some more of these um, in the series, hopefully later on this year. Apparently NECA was teasing that. So if we can get Leech Woman, if we can get Jester, and of course, if we can get Six Shooter, I would be super happy. So cool. Alright, and we have Marvel Legends. Oh, you should be on clearance. Hmm, I wonder if you're on clearance. People are looking for these, believe it or not. They were a Target exclusive, I believe. Pretty sure they were. Let's see what else we got here. More DKR Batman. That seems to be the latest wave, so that's populating most of the pegs and stores. Uh, Batgirl. Again, the McFarlane figures. I'm just waiting for a restock because they've teased several new waves. And we have got really nothing. No real restocks. Yeah, I got it. Got the gold label of that one, and this pet girl kind of sucks. I don't really like her. She's missing paint. This is the superior pet girl in comparison, I would say. Uh, gold label Batman. Don't sleep on it. Really great figure. Uh, they did a great job on the paint. I think all gold label figures should. This is like gold standard for gold label figures, in my opinion. And then down here, of course, got your two pack. I have the Superman. I want this gold belt or gold and blue suited Batman is more obviously accurate to the comic, but I have not been able to find him in a single. And I just don't want to buy both because I already have that Superman. And the stand is not worth it in my opinion. You could probably make a better stand. Batmo Beast. It's 80 bucks. I just, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just not for me. I would have nowhere to put this. And it just looks like a toy. I mean, it looks like. I mean, it is a toy, but it just does, it looks like something like a kid would play with. Check that out. Oh man, it got really warm. Whew. All right, so this target is my favorite target. And the last one we went to was actually really darn good um, too. They had two neck sections. Oh boy, it's good. Uh, this one's really good too. 
So here we go. All right. Oh, right off the back, I see some new stuff. And it's been a couple weeks since I've been here. Looks like Puppet Master is in fashion. I cannot wait to get that. I should be getting that. The, the order was delayed, so it's going to be some days. But I got a really good deal on them. Uh, it was like, I mean, GameStop had a crazy good sale. Got Predator City Hunter. Cool. Cool, cool. Got another City Hunter. Cool. Let's see. Of course you got it. Oh, excuse me. The original It's Tim Curry It. Look at that. Wow. I'm more of a, I'm kind of a Tim Curry It, as opposed to the more modern rendition of the Sarsgaard uh, portrayal. I definitely prefer the Tim Curry portrayal. That's just me, but you know, to each his own. It's pretty nice. And check it out. I just picked one of these up. These are gonna go fast. I can't believe they're just sitting here. These are gonna go fast. Really cool figure. I have yet to unbox it, but I mean, this is—they did a really good job on this cloth figure. I mean, it is stacked. Got a nice little pistol. Look at the eyes. Wow, it's that is awesome. Whoa, check it out. These are new. Still not Earth the kit, but wow, all the boxing Batman. And these are new, like I said, I saw these, we saw these at the other store. How much are these? I'm not, I'm not even into Naruto like that, but I do like Kakashi Sensei. Kind of retro boxes, old school NECA. Wow, they snapped on the detail on this one. Got more of these Super 7s. are really nice. Check it out. Lord Zed. Who is that? Scorpia? Scorpina? Oh, I don't recognize her. Oh, look, the whole gang's here. We got Jason, we got Kimberly, we got Zach, we got Zach. And he comes with, look, they come with their weapons too. That's so cool. I think you can even form. Oh yeah, they got two blasters and their sabers. That is awesome. Look at the man, they just, look at that. These are really cool, I like these. I swear, honestly, I think they have like all of them here. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Friday the 13th part two. You know, I've never been a huge Friday the 13th person. I I don't know. I just I'm always been more of a Michael Myers guy. It's DKR Batman. Cool. So shout out to Carrot and Weasel95. Thank you guys for all the support. Really appreciate everything you've done to help build my channel and all your great feedback is definitely helping me to make things better. All right, here we go. Whoa, super bebop and rock steady. Wow, nice. It's looking kind of light in the actual in cap world. Yeah, look at that. So this is the third NECA section, and as you can see, whoa, check it out, Hellraiser, I have this one, but I got it loose, yeah, what a great figure, I think this is definitely one of their standout figures, it photographs really well too, I, I mean, once I get a more elaborate setup, I'm definitely going to take some more photos of that one for sure. Such a good figure to photograph. Love Clyde Barker's stuff also. All his stuff is awesome. 
And we got Bill and Ted. Wow, that does bear a striking resemblance to a young Keanu Reeves. Cool. And then the more cartoon style. Nice. What do we got? This Arnold's pretty cool. Could have used a little bit of weathering on the guns, I think, if it focused. I think the clip is detachable too, which is nice. Wow, is that a hinge on that? It looks like it almost. Could be. These guns are really detailed. Alright, All right, this looks like a giant clearance end cap. So let's take a second to go through this. We got Joker, 66 Joker, Comedian Joker. Oh, I think these are on clearance. And then a Comedian Joker. So this is their main toy aisle. Mostly repeats, these animated series figures do not dope over so well. Of course, you can't have a target without your hazmat suit Batman. And your DKR Bat, our Superman, and armored Batman, and then of course Wonder Woman back there. Flash, and then another animated Flash, so yeah. These were like $13.99 I think the other day. Then as far as other figures, we got our Multiverse of Madness figures, which are starting to make their way to stores. I don't even know who this is, American Chavez, I have no idea who that is. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I want to pay almost $38 for Wong. <laughs> or Master Mordo. Even though that is a bear striking resemblance to Chihuahua to Ledger 4. Complete with his forehead scar. All right, we are in Quake. I don't have that much time, but I'm going to try and look through as much of it as I can today. Whoa, 20 bucks. I just picked you up for way more. Ouch. Grabbed you. Oh, snaps. That's definitely a buy. The Joker's Batman. Check it out. Check it out. I need that. <laughs> Might have to do that. Might have to make that move.
I really don't have the time to go through all this today, but I'm gonna go through as much as I can. This haul, wait till you guys see what I got. I really, <laughs> I think I'm done for a while. 